Okay, so what makes a good qualitative interview? Um, it's really like a conversation, kind of like we're having today, in a way, except as, a, as an interviewer, you want to listen more than perhaps we're doing. We're talking quite a bit back and forth, but when you're interviewing somebody, the skill is to let the interviewee talk, feel comfortable and really tell you about their experiences. Yes, because um, the interview is the means by, way, by which the um, participant, the person being interviewed, gives you the data that you're going to analyse. Yeah. So they have to be in the frame of mind that they can do that, feel mm. comfortable with the setting and the way you've explained the situation to them. So, you know, be in a mental state where uh, they feel comfortable describing their experiences and mm -hmm. using their own words to describe things for you and, you know, explore some of their understandings or perceptions or experiences. Yeah. And they're not going to go into that straight away. We have to do a bit of groundwork, first of all, don't we, to, to help people settle into an interview by helping to introduce them a little bit to where we're going and establishing that very important rapport. Um, especially if we're going to ask them questions that have them perhaps unpick or tell us a little bit about perhaps an evocative question or something that has been challenging or, you know, like giving up smoking, really big challenge. There might be um, some emotional uh, territory that gets covered there. So we can't go into the really tough questions first of all. There is a sense of warming people up, isn't there? Yeah, I think that's right, and the interview is a process. It's yeah. got a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it should move along. Yeah. It's not just going round and round some experience that the participant has had. You want to see some progression, really, as yeah. you explore their beliefs or understandings or experiences. And it should feel quite natural as well. I think sometimes we have an interview schedule, that hopefully with some really good open-ended type of questions on there. But if we're not really listening and not really paying attention, then sometimes what we might find is we've asked a question that they've already answered earlier on. That there's got to be this level of flexibility, I think, in a good quality interview, that you're listening like you would in a conversation and being able to move through the questions and the probes without it feeling mechanical. That's right, not a mechanical process. Yeah. yeah, it's a good way of putting it. And the interviewer has got to be engaged at a human level with their, yeah. with their interviewee. Yeah. And we need to, to have the interviewee feel like we're interested in, in, their, yeah. in their process. So the good body language, eye contact, um, nodding heads, like you're doing with me now, it's, that's all part and parcel of it. I mean, it's famously called a conversation with a purpose, isn't it? a qualitative interview. Um, anything else that, that you think is really important? Well, it's, a, you know, it's, it's about the interaction with the participant and giving the participant, showing respect for the participant, yeah. protecting them in some ways, recognising yeah. that they're making themselves a little bit vulnerable quite often, yeah. and also giving them the, the space and the opportunity to, to give you some good data for analysis. Yeah, the power of the pause sometimes gets overlooked by novice researchers, doesn't it? They tend to be so fixed on going through the questions that they don't give people enough time to reflect and pause. Um, and also the really good prompts and probes. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Or that's interesting. What, what was that about? What did that mean for you? Especially with IPA research, if you're going down that route, that meaning making is where that data really needs to go. So it won't perhaps naturally go there unless you ask those prompts that help shepherd it there in a way. That's right. And the participant, the individual, is at the centre of it. And, yeah. Uh, um, because the participants are really special in qualitative research. Mm. Um, so perhaps we could, could think a little bit about participants yeah. Uh, in qualitative research. Yeah, yeah, because they are our data and uh, that's where the richness comes from. That's right. Okay. <laughs>